The most innovative indoor-outdoor condos are coming to market, and they feature a revolutionary window system that encloses large balconies, making them a part of your everyday living space. And when you take all that enclosed living space on a per foot basis, you're looking at a price point as about as low as we've seen in seven years, making this a very attractive option. Today, we are looking at Concord Pacific's newest tower release called Greenhouse. Hi, this is Dan, your Vancouver pre-sale specialist. I showcase the newest pre-sales on this channel where I separate the good from the bad. I share which locations have the best amenities, determine which floor plans work the best, which ones to maybe avoid, and most importantly, to see if the asking prices are even worth it. And on top of that, what incentives I can get for you. There are a lot of pre-sale projects out there and it can be time consuming and exhausting trying to figure out which ones are the best. Well, luckily I'm here to do that work for you. So I'm gonna give you the inside details on a new project this week. And at the end of the video, give you the top five reasons why you may consider not buying it. But then of course the top five reasons why you would consider buying it and my overall score out of 10. Now let's have a look at this week's project, Greenhouse. Greenhouse is the latest release from Canada's largest developer, Concord Pacific. It features 299 units across 43 floors. It is located right in Burnaby's metro town at the corner of Barker and Olive Ave and looks straight over the massive Central Park. Plus, it's only steps to the Patterson SkyTrain station. Here is the summary written by the developers over at Concord summarizing their new project. Inspired by the refinement of classic conservatories and the grandeur of Beaux Arts architecture, Greenhouse is a living masterpiece that elegantly captures the opulence of royal gardens. The exterior facade boasts sinuous curves and flowing waves, harmoniously reflecting the beauty of nature. Every architectural element pays homage to its outdoor surroundings, embracing the lush greenery of Central Park and the serene shores of Deer Lake. Greenhouse stands as a testament to timeless sophistication and natural harmony. All right, sounds pretty exciting. Let's take a further look. There's no doubt that the most unique and attractive part of this building is of course the retractable windows, what they call the convertible living space. The idea here is to create a, a seamless indoor and outdoor living area with a convertible solarium that basically features this retractable glass panels and, and balcony heaters to essentially allow for all season enjoyment. This is a very unique option. I believe they are first to market with this. And of course, if you include that convertible space as the overall square footage, the price per foot gets very attractive and I'll get into the exact numbers shortly. Okay, so who is this building for? Who are the buyers for this? Well, ultimately we are talking about the Metro Town area and all the conveniences that comes with it. The area is a walk score of 97. So if you like the walkability and the ease of the Metro Town lo location, then this could be for you. The access to food, shopping, transit are all within a very walkable distance, like, you know, under 10 minutes for probably most of these. The building is definitely on the higher end. They've got the higher end finishings, the high end kitchen and high end amenities too. So if those are all attractive elements for you, they're all within this building. Ultimately, I think this building is gonna mostly be purchased by people who are actually gonna live in it, as opposed to investors buying it to rent out. Um, again, very attractive to live in and have that standard of living, as opposed to just looking for something to get a higher ROI. Might be less achievable with this building, and I think it'll be more rewarding to actually live in, in the, uh, these spaces. Lastly, of course, is if you are someone who would enjoy that sort of convertible solarium space, it is designed for entertaining, it is designed to be used almost year round. And so of course, if you're gonna take advantage of that, then this building is definitely something that you should consider. When it comes to the amenities, they have certainly gone all out in this building. Inside, you will find a gym, the pool, look at that, a hot tub, there's a steam and sauna. They've gone further with even a yoga room and a ping pong area. On top of this, for those who like gaming, there is the Mahjong room, there is a karaoke room, and even a tea and dining salon. When we get down to the lower levels, well, we've also got the car wash area. They've got a gear room, which I find super unique and definitely worth looking at. That's something where you could, you know, get your bike fixed, etc. And last but not least, they have an area for your pets as well with this little pet spa. When it comes to the exact location, as mentioned, you are in the heart of Metro Town. So all of those conveniences, plus we're talking about all levels of schools within walking distance. Central Park that is literally next door to the building features 215 acres of forest and greenery, which include an outdoor pool, a fitness circuit, uh, there's tennis courts, there's pitch and putt, there's great areas for picnics, beautiful outdoor option right at your front door. You're also within walking distance of the Metropolis Mall. And when we're talking about timing to get to downtown or the airport, 
both you're looking at about 30 minutes drive. Now let's get into the one, two and three bedroom options that exist for you, the floor plans and most importantly, the pricing. Okay, and here is the floor plans for this project. As you can see, there are eight floor plan options per floor. I'm gonna get into them a little bit here, but also know that if you want a copy of these floor plans, just get a hold of me at any of that contact information below and I'll send it right over to you. When looking at these plans, just know that up is north and that the big giant central park is located to the southwest of this tower. So over in this direction here. So obviously anything facing south and west will have a bit more of a park view than anywhere else in the building. When it comes to the one bedrooms, you've got two different floor plans in this project. Both of them are pretty good. You know, you've got this north facing one at 502 square feet, east facing at 581. Of the one bed plans, I think I actually prefer the A1, the east facing a little bit. It's just got a little bit more of a functional layout. Taking a closer look now, you enter in here, you've got your full bath just to the right. Walking in a little bit further, obviously L kitchen here, dining area for four. Then that looks over the living area, which appears to have enough room for a sectional. We do have the primary bedroom here, closet space, in-suite washer dryer, and the outdoor space, the solarium, is accessible from both the bedroom and the living area. And you get another 250 square feet out here. We're north facing, so you'll get a decent amount of some morning light-ish, but uh, you will be able to see the North Shore Mountains, which is quite nice. Room out here, obviously for more dining, maybe a little couch and uh, maybe reading spot. And then of course this indicates where your heat is coming from. So nice little plan. I think the indoor outdoor flow on this one works well. And overall, it is my favorite of the two options for one bed floor plans. When we're talking about the two bedroom options, there's actually five different floor plans here. Most are pretty good. I would say if you are considering one, be cautious of the B1 plan. The only reason I say that is because of the living and dining space is pretty tight. But of course, what they do have for this one is an additional 642 square feet of outdoor space. So if you could take your most of your sort of living and dining to the outdoor solarium year round, then it won't feel as cramped. But either way, just be careful this one. Largely, you'll just notice up in here, you know, if this is a two bedroom, two bath home in 672 square feet, Bedrooms work fine, bathrooms work fine, but you're looking at basically a love seat and a tiny little coffee table overlooking a small to medium sized TV. Might not work for some people, might be fine for others, but just something to be aware of. When it comes to the two bedroom plans that I like, B4 facing directly south is quite nice. B3, which is the west facing one, this is my personal favorite. I think it has the most functional layout. I think it's gonna get a brilliant amount of light and the outdoor space is very usable on this one. B5, which is this one in the northwest corner absolutely massive 930 square feet here this does include the plus guest room which is kind of like this third bedroom up here at the top maybe that turns into an uh, at-home office kind of thing either way lots of great outdoor space here gonna maximize the the light into the living area and the additional 660 square feet of outdoor space absolutely massive you get two vistas here both north and west lots of space to use and, and lots of configurations for that type of property. For those who need the full three bed option, that is your C1 plan. It's the only plan that offers up three bedrooms in this property, in this tower. It is the Southwest facing, so you're gonna get incredible park views from here, especially on the higher floors. Now, do note that they've put all the bedrooms across the South facing edge of this plan. And that's where most of the light comes in. So you gotta think, if you're in here using your kitchen, using your living dining, the only natural light coming from here really is gonna be from this one sliding glass door that faces directly west. This might ultimately end up being a darker plan, which is really unfortunate because of course, I think they're trying to push everybody to that outdoor solarium space because it is massive at 715 square feet. Once used and hopefully used as much of the year as possible, this is what really, really makes this plan work. So cook in here, eat out here. I think that's kind of the idea. Um, again, be cognizant that all the bedrooms will be the brightest part of this. And of course, uh, I think the living space should have been flipped and they should be over here. But hey, uh, I'm not the architect on this one. So again, a lot of square footage. Uh, plan might, be, might work, might not. But of course, the outdoor space is where you're going to get most of the value on this one. Now let's talk about prices because I know you're very curious about this. Jumping right into it here, I've got the full price plan. I'll go over it quickly, but if you want a copy, just get a hold of me and I'll send it right over. The one bedrooms, the smaller ones, they start in the low 700,000s. Uh, the larger ones start in the high 700,000s and go up to the low 800s. 
Uh, when you combine the indoor outdoor solarium into the total living area, you'll see a, on a price per foot, you know, you're basically around a thousand a foot for a one bedroom in that area. Incredible. Of course, legally, we're only going to take the dollar figure divided by the actual indoor enclosed space. But because of the uniqueness of this plan, we'll just reference what it's like in case you do do the total living area combined on a per foot basis, because that's where the affordability really comes in. And if you do end up using that for most of the year, you know, it's uh, you can understand why the project can be looked at in that light. Two bedrooms, the 672 up to the 845 square feet. Um, those start in the mid 900s and go up to the low 1.2s. Of course, they have very varying size of outdoor space, the 273 up to 642 square feet. And of course, on a per foot basis, you're even dropping slightly below a thousand a foot. Phenomenal prices. Again, basically unheard of for years. And the larger two beds, which are the two bed plus guest, uh, it's 930 square feet with a massive 660 outdoor space. You're looking at almost 1600 square feet all in. So understandably from the high twos to the low 1.4s on a per dollar, sorry, on a per square foot basis, these become quite attractive as well. Lastly, the C1 plan, your three bedroom option, 1015 square feet plus 715 outdoor, starting in the high 1.3s and ending in the low 1.5s. If you use all space on a per foot basis, you can pick these up as low as about $820 a foot. <laughs> Unheard of. So again, there's, there's value there it, uh, if this is the type of property that you're gonna utilize year round, indoor and out. There are also sub penthouse options starting on the 38th floor. If you would like a full breakdown of those and the floor plans, just get a hold of me. This project is estimated to complete in 2028. It may get pushed into 2029. You're almost looking at six years here, so quite a time horizon before it's done. And for those who are considering it and wanna know what the deposit structure is like, Four deposits are required between now and September 15th, 2025. So pretty reasonable structure on this. Now, very important to note, all those prices I just went over earlier are exclusive of parking and exclusive of storage units. Both of those are available for purchase. As you can see down here, if you want a regular EV stall, you can get those from about 47,000. Small EV stalls start at 39,000. Uh, bike lockers available as well. You can get 6,600 bucks for one, or you can get the premium double bike locker for about $9,600. You can also upgrade to a steam closet in your, in your unit for $2,300. Lots of ways to upgrade and improve on your space. Uh, it just comes with a dollar figure, but that is your price sheet. And finally, in regards to pricing, are the incentives. This project has just launched and I can't say there's a lot of interest in it. So their incentives are okay. They're not too exciting, but you know, if this is something you're considering moving forward with, we can always talk and see if I can get you something a little bit higher here. Um, basically you're looking anywhere from 5,000 to 20,000 based on the unit that you're getting and a $3,000 bike locker credit for your home as well. Also note that the maintenance fees are estimated at 67 cents per foot, meaning you buy a thousand square foot property, your monthly maintenance fees will be about $670 per month. I had mentioned earlier how this project is being built by Canada's largest developer, Concord Pacific. They have been around for over 25 years here and essentially they're a pioneering force in developing large scale urban communities across Vancouver, Toronto and North York. So they've, they're really known for their quality. They're known for their legacy. They're known for their history. It is a trusted and uh, reputable developer. And of course, uh, anybody looking for security in the sense of knowing that a developer is gonna be able to finish a project, this one definitely checks all those boxes. Now let's consider the top five reasons why you might consider not getting into this building. Number one would of course be if you are the type of person who would not utilize that outdoor space, that solarium, because that's largely what the focus of this project is. Second is the fact that it's a big tower and it's gonna take about six years to complete. So obviously if you need access to a property before six years, you may wanna look elsewhere. Third is that I think there's a few floor plans that are a bit less than desirable. So if you were targeting, let's say two beds in a certain budget facing a certain way, and the only floor plan was one that eh, didn't really fit your needs, you may wanna consider another project in the area. Fourth is the fact that it is a big building. You know, we're talking about basically 300 units here. So if you were looking forward to utilizing the amenities a lot, they might be busy. And, you know, and it's not like you want to wait in line to access, I don't know, the Mahjong room, for example. So again, something to consider. We will we'll see how it pans out. Sometimes these buildings with a lot of amenities are rarely used, but please keep that in consideration either way. And the last reason why you may consider not 
flying into this building or this area is the location. I mean, Metro Town's great, but it's not for everyone. So if you want a building that's similar high end and has the amenities, there are other options out there. Uh, just ask me, I can definitely share some of my favorites. And when it comes to the reasons to buy into this building, well, right off the top is of course the solarium space, the outdoor space, the unique feature that allows you to maximize the square footage at a reasonable cost and use it year round. It was really designed to give people more square footage at that better price, be able to use it year round, definitely use it for entertaining, and of course be living in a building where you get bragging rights for this first to market style of uh, revolutionary window systems. Second reason to buy into it is the super convenient location. Metro Town, as mentioned, a walk score of 97, Everything is at your doorstep, super easy to walk around and get uh, all your daily conveniences within maybe a five to 10 minute walk. Third best reason to buy into this project is the developer. Concord is rock solid. They've been around for 25 years. They're gonna finish this meticulously. They're gonna be well funded. And this is a, a developer that you can trust in. Fourth reason that you would wanna buy into this project is that it is high end, it is luxury. So if you're looking for opulent living within a condo tower, this is going to satisfy all those needs, especially with the interior design, the high end finishings, the high end kitchen, and the high end amenities. It, it's really got it all for you know, a, a lifestyle, sort of for the rich and fabulous. And the fifth reason to buy into this building, in my opinion, is the amenities. These are over the top amenities that are gonna be super useful. You would actually enjoy using these as opposed to just having that gym that nobody attends or goes to in the building. I think that these amenities, these extra rooms, everything is gonna be used because, uh, you know, again, they're super attractive and they're just what people want in this day and age. When it comes to the overall score for this project, I think as long as you're buying into the right floor plan, this is at least an eight out of 10. It's, it's, a, it's a great project. There's a lot of reasons to like it. And uh, I think anybody who lives here is gonna really, really enjoy that lifestyle. That wraps up my overview of Concord Pacific's newest project, Greenhouse. If you like what you see or you would like more information, just get a hold of me. We can get you in early. We can get you the best floor plans. We can get you the early incentives. A lot of reasons to get into this building before all the great units are bought up. So for all your questions or to learn a little bit more or get any of the free downloads, just get a hold of me at any of the contact information below. Happy to answer all your questions. Thanks as always and have a great day.